this is piece 246, Stadia or Stadia 2 by Julie Moretu. Julie is a um, American living in New York City. She was born in Addis Ababa in Ethiopia, was educated here in the United States, has lived abroad in Africa, but has made her home in New York City. This piece, Stadia 2, is a part of a triptych set. It's the centerpiece, but you can see it in context with its partners here. The context for this is it was made in 2004 and the Summer Olympic Games also occurred in 2004 and the United States was engaged in a war with Iraq at the same time. So this painting reflects thinking about all of these very significant events. It is nine by 12, so she makes big paintings and it is abstract. We have forms and interesting colors, and we have the sense of constant movement in this piece. And I want to remind you of Kandinsky, who also uses similar sorts of art forms here with abstract, with interesting colors, and a sense of constant movement with black lines. You can see here in uh, Moretu's piece that she's working on that's not at all complete, that these black lines help create movement, just as they do in Kandinsky's work. Also in form, Moretu began with this particular piece, Stadia 2, with stadium sketches. And she uses this frequently in her work, architectural sketches. That's one of her bases. And so the diagram of the stadium is placed on the uh, canvas and then she, it has been sprayed with silica and acrylic solution and then that's sanded smooth and another layer of figures, notations, photographs, paintings is applied. And so it's like there are multiple layers, geologic formations with characters kind of buried like fossils that you have to search for. So how does one engage with this piece? Well, what you first have to do is find the architectural plan of the stadium. So you're looking for this circular space. I see it for me, it's kind of up here and I see these holes here, and this provides some sort of centering spot for, for my eyes. I see this set of squares moving here, and that for me is the stadium. I know it's abstract, but I can make out a stadium if I put my mind to it. And then next I see confetti. That's my next step, to see confetti. Do you see all these little pieces here? Confetti would be analogous to a celebration, celebration in a sporting event and a celebration for a political event. So then my next step in the, examining this piece and getting into it is to look at the top here where I see circles, triangles, parallelograms, all these geometric shapes that are seem to be disconnected to one another, yet if I put them together in my mind, these abstract geometric forms, colored, brightly colored forms can become nation's flags. For example, I can look at this sunburst here and I'm reminded of the Japanese flag. Or I can see the stripes here and this blue swoosh and I can think of the United States flag. But I bet, well, and look here, you can see some other pennants that look like flags. So pennants are flags as well, right? So nearly every flag in the world can be recreated out of these colors and shapes. And then the fourth form that I'm looking at is this gray painting. 
and these black lines coming up. This is the motion of the piece. And these represent plumes of smoke because remember this occurred during the Iraq war, was conceived during the Iraq war. And these structures are often targets of bombings and acts of terror. So that's the content. Further content though, we have the spectacle of the Olympics, right? Where there's huge nationalism, huge pride in one's country. We're all counting the gold and counting the silver. And then there are these flags that also symbolize nationalism. And we're playing, she, Julie uh, Moretu is playing with the psychological space of being in the stadium or we're floating above the stadium. And so there's a lot going on here. Um, if this is a the blown up part of the top left section, just want to point out that there are also religious symbols. Here's a cross here. There are, uh, although I haven't found many in this side, corporate symbols going on as well. Uh, I On the right side, which I have blown up here, there are logos, logos of, a, of media, corporate logos, and religious symbols. And all of these entities have an interest in stating their perspective and thus adding to this milieu of information and heightened sense of emotion, propaganda. And so if you look closely here, oh, yeah, here's the CBS uh, I here and then over here is the star of David perhaps the and the bar blue bar above it so we're getting this feeling for maybe the Jewish flag of Israel so there's a lot of information contained here and the function then of this piece is it's an immersive piece it's huge when you stand there and you kind of dive into it you can experience it by being inside it. You can float over it. You can stand outside of the painting. But ultimately, we're exploring contemporary social and political issues, and particularly this notion of propaganda and nationalism that we see during a war, like the war in Iraq, or of the Olympics, huge pride for one's country. So this is Julie Mahetru and Stadia 2.